Good afternoon, everybody. It's Karen here. I'm coming to you from my craft room on a very warm day out here. I don't know about your area of the country, but here in Massachusetts, we are at about 90 degrees, which is a little surprising for an April day. But uh, I'm trying to stay as cool as possible in my craft room, but um, I'm excited to be up here and working. And I have this cute little gift box treat box however you want to use it to share with you it's very cute very quick doesn't require a lot of paper a lot of cutting and i think that you'll like it so i am doing this and keep it quiet everybody for my vips this is my fifth year in business with close to my heart and i have a really great group of customers and friends who have been supporting me throughout this business and i've being that it's my anniversary month this month with Close to Mart, as well as my birthday month, I thought I'd send out a little cute surprise for them. So what I'm gonna be doing is showing you how to create this. This is kind of a pizza style box that I came up with. And it, this only requires one piece of cardstock and one piece of pattern paper to really create this. And the nice thing about it is it opens up and you can fill it with gift cards, goodies, treats, everything. I'm filling it with, um, I have this little cute post-it note holder that I came up with to go with it. I'm sending them a little um, petite perk stamp set and an RCP pen that I put a little bit of pattern paper into to kind of coordinate with what I'm working. I'm working with the Cosette paper collection here and the um, April stamp of the month from Close to My Heart. And um, I think you'll like this. So what? let's get into what we're gonna need. I'm just gonna put this aside, the different components over here. So what we're gonna need to do the box, you're gonna need a piece of good, solid, um, heavyweight cardstock and one piece of pattern paper if it's double-sided, it's great. If you don't have double-sided paper, then probably two if you want some contrast with two patterns. We need that. And then if you're going to do the post-it note holder, you just need an extra piece of um, cardstock for the post-it note holder. So we're going to get started with how to cut and score the large box and I'll cut and score the post-it note holder. So I'm just going to put some of my extras aside here and I am gonna pull out my trimmer. Now you definitely wanna make sure that you either have a scoring system or a scoring blade to go with your trimmer. Definitely gonna have some good scissors and a good strong adhesive tape. So really there's not a lot um, that you're gonna need for this. So first things first, we're gonna cut this piece of 12 by 12 paper down to 10 and three quarters by 11 inches okay so we're gonna get that so that's in terms of the cutting and then i'm going to take out my cutting blade and put in my scoring blade now what i've got here so this the 10 and 3 quarter side is here 11 inch side is here i am going to start with scoring along my 11 inch side so these measurements are based on that so i'm going to work my way from left to right and the first score line is going to be at one inch and don't worry you don't have to worry about writing this down i will include a link in the description of this video to um, my blog post which will you'll have an access to a pdf um, downloadable PDF with directions with all of the scoring, cutting and scoring sizes and everything like that that you need to recreate this on your own. So we scored at one inch. Now we're going to score at two inches. And then we're going to go out to nine inches. And ten inches. Okay. Now we're going to rotate the paper and we're now along the two, the 10 and three quarter side. I'm going to score again. We're going to do a one inch score. We're going to do a two inch score. We're going to go to five and a half. We're going to do six and a half. Try to get it to right to the line I want. Six and a half, and then two, ten. 
Okay. Now I'm just going to put this aside for a second. So now what we're going to do, let's see if you can see these, so you can see these score lines. So what we're going to be doing is creating the sides and the top of the box. This is going to be like a fold over box. So what we need to do is we're going to start to cut away to make our tabs. So I'm going to cut this bottom piece away there. And then I'm going to cut this little square away like that. Now I am going to cut here. So now I've got my first tab. I'm going to do the same on this side. Put this away. Put that away. Cut this square. Okay, so that's, and then I'm going to cut this piece up here. So now I've got my next tab. Now I'm going to move to the inside here. So I am going to cut away this, and I'm going to cut all the way down. And I'm going to cut here. Okay, and this I'm going to cut to here. And I'm going to, so this side will have two tabs. I'm going to cut this in. So there's that side. Same on this side. I'm going to cut away my little square, but I'm going to cut all the way into here. Cut this square out. All my square. And then I'll cut the last piece here. Okay. Now on the top, because this is going to be what folds inside, I'm going to cut away the outer part here. Okay, and then the same on this side. So I'm leaving it with kind of the pieces that will fold in. And we'll go on the inside, get my scraps out of the way. In this piece and what I did just to make it easier to fold is I kind of cut these at an angle so I cut oh, about an inch an inch in to the corner and I'm going to do the same here and here and here And that is basically what you need to do to cut. So now I have my base. Now I'm going to just start folding all of this along the score lines. Use my bone folder to just give it a nice crease. my way around so folding everything as I work my way around folding it all in Get my last tabs So now it's all scored. Now I am going to put adhesive. So what I'm going to do is I don't need the adhesive in a lot of places because these outer pieces here are going to fold in to give stability, extra stability to the sides. So I'm going to put adhesive here and here on those three tabs. Just get to the edge. There we go. Pull this in. And my scissors and cut that. So I'm doing this on what will be the inside of the box. And then that. I just kind of press it down just to give it a little bit of extra adhesion. And then here. Okay. So I have my adhesive in those three spots. Now I'm going to flip this over. And I am going to put adhesive on my four 
tabs there. So those are what we're going to fold in first. I always, I always try finding sometimes the edge of the roll of adhesive. Where is it? Ah, there we go. So, oops. Likes to stick to my fingers quite well. Four little pieces here of this. And then we will assemble this. So it's, it doesn't, it's fairly easy to create. And you can do so much with it. I could see putting gift card in it, a little treat for a holiday, for anything. So that's that. So now I'm gonna just take the backing off my adhesive. Ah, come on, there we go. This, <laughs> I love this stuff, it's super sticky. And it works really well, but the uh, it, cover for it tends to be a little bit um, static clingy. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this behind there. And then same on this side. And I'm going to bring up that. So I've got that side. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. So these, these tabs are being folded to the inside. I'm sorry if I went off camera. Looking down and I'm trying to make sure. So there's the basic. Now what I'm going to do is take the adhesive off the backing off here. And I am going to fold these tabs to the inside. Yeah, see, it's staticky clingy to my thumb. <laughs> I'm going to find this adhesive backing stuck to me everywhere. Okay. And I'm going to do this side and then I'll finish with the front side. And that will be the box. And one more. There you go. Now you have your basic box. Okay. And this should fold in nicely and tuck in. Oops. Doesn't want to stick. That's good. Just got to fold down the, you know, sometimes you have to crease the corners a little bit. So there's your basic box. And then to do your post-it note holder is very simple. I'm just gonna, before I decorate anything, I'm just gonna create the post-it note holder base. But take my scoring blade out, cutting blade in, get rid of some adhesive scraps. And I am going to cut a piece of cardstock that is going to be six, let's see, six and three quarters. It's gonna move my arm out here. Actually, I'll do it. I'll do it this way. First, we'll do since this is long enough. I'm going to do three and one eighth. Scrap aside and six and three quarters. And then I'm going to change my blade out from my scoring blade, and I'm going to score this at three and one eighth and three and five eighths. And that is all your cutting that you need to do for in scoring. So and I'm just gonna take this, again, I'm gonna fold it, score it on the fold lines. And so there's your basic box and post-it note holder. Now, in terms of decorating it, I have for the box, this is a piece of pattern paper that is just slightly smaller. It's because um, this is seven inches wide. So this is basically six and seven eighths by three and five eighths. Um, I'll have all the directions. And so I'm just going to take this and put some adhesive already on the back of this. And I'm going to put this on the box lid. I love this cassette paper. It's so much fun. I love the colors in it. And then for around the box, I again, added a little band of this pattern paper. So I'm going to take this and work my way around. I put adhesive already on the back of this. So you can see just, I like adding a band on the box just to give a little bit of color differentiation. I'll just 
line up the patterns and work my around. These are basically two pieces of paper that are 12 inches long by one inch tall. And this basically takes me around to the edge. There's my decorated box. And I have used the Sweet Treats, Sweet Tweets Stamp of the Month, which is for April. And I, col I stamped the images with Intense Black Exclusive Ink and then colored them in with some of my watercolor pencils. And I used a tag die to cut the tags. And I did a, cut a little reinforcement piece out of the same cardstock I used and a little twine. So that's my decorated box. And your post-it note holder is, so once you've got the thing, take the backing off of your post-it note block and then put that on the inside. And then what I have here is two pieces of pattern paper. This is two and seven eighths square, and this is two and three quarters square. So I'm gonna just layer this piece on top of the larger piece. Oops, yeah, like I said, static. Oops, sorry guys. And then adhere this to the top. Put this on the outside of the post-it note holder. And then again, I used sentiment from the stamp set, just a note. And you could add other decorations to it. And for the RSVP pens, it's very easy to put a piece of pattern paper in the barrel. You just need a piece of pattern paper that's about three, three and a half inches long by one, in, about one inch tall. I just thought, what I do is I kind of run it along the edge of a desk along the corner to get it to soften a little bit and then I roll it. Then what you would do is take the bottom of the barrel off, it pulls out the pen, to, you know, roll that up tightly, put it in, then pop the barrel, bottom of the barrel back on, and you have some pattern paper that goes with your set. And um, I really hope you guys liked this little quick pizza style gift box, treat box. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope to those of my VIPs who get this in the mail as a special treat, I hope you really like it. And thank you so much for supporting my business all of these year. Thank you. And I look forward to the next time I share a video with you.